American children are living in homes where a grandparent is head of the household. AARP says 5.8 million children in the United States live in a grandparent's home. More than 2.5 million grandparents are handling a job they thought they'd finished. Taking in grandchildren can come as a shock to people who were about to enjoy their retirement. In tonight's Family 411 report, a local couple shows Sheila Gray how having support is crucial. I mean, it's nonstop. And he wasn't sleeping through the night. Jean and John Jacobs aren't new parents. They're grandparents to six-year-old Kaylee, four-year-old Liam, and three-year-old Jordan. But they've also doubled as parents since the kids came to live with them almost three years ago. She I did. would have never thought about saying no. I would have did the never. hesitation, but no. I mean, bottom line, no. They had nowhere to go. Life changed for the Jacobs almost overnight when they agreed to keep their grandchildren to keep them out of foster care. And we've seen the change from grandparents raising children to help out with the finances to switching over to completely raising grandchildren as a result of drug issues. Mm. Joan Bowling works with the Jacobs and other families making a big adjustment. Jean and John were just getting used to an empty nest. Now John stays home with the kids. You know, now all of a sudden you're talking about potty training and, you know, you can't just go to the movies. It was really, really hard, to, probably the first year. It's not just a huge lifestyle turnaround when grandparents take in their grandchildren. For most, it's also a big financial hit. Most people planning for retirement don't plan on the expenses related to raising kids. Uh, we've met people who have declared bankruptcy. Yeah. The Jacobs say they're running on minimal funds, too. They've cut out things like restaurants and vacations. It helps them to um, get ideas from each other how to cope with some of the stressors associated with raising the children. They don't feel as alone. Maybe we offer some hope for someone else. Jean and John grieve for the time when they could just be grandparents and spoil Kaylee, Liam, and Jordan, but say they don't feel cheated like some other grand families they've met. Oh, I don't feel bad. I feel blessed. Um, they're healthy. They're taken care of. Chocolate chip. They didn't plan it, and they don't even know how long this family situation will last. But the Jacobs say they're happy they threw out the safety net. You're welcome. Sheila Gray, Local 12 News. Joan Bowling says some families may qualify for state aid depending on where you live, and sometimes help is available through the schools children attend. So if you're dealing with the courts, Bowling says it's crucial to get an attorney. Workers at Kenton County Extension Services offer support to relatives raising relatives, and we have a link at local12.com. Just click on the red Get It button.